Hi, how are you? Uh, this is Abdulaziz Khan with uh, another video on uh, path loss. Basically, I got a question through a comment on one of my videos uh, that if someone needs to modify an equipment file because of any reason. So I thought that I should uh, share this in the form of a video so that everyone can learn how to do it but uh, before we learn how to do it because uh, to do it is uh, it has two ways you can do it in, in two different ways and uh, but one thing is that uh, it's not recommended that you change the equipment file uh, by yourself because only the problem should be that for example uh, you are using one vendor's equipment file and uh, you are working on a project and you give the data to your customer and you know sometimes maybe for any reason if he verified uh, from his side for example, he also has a path loss and he do a random verification and he came to know that some parameters are modified because it's not very easy to to it's very easy to understand. I mean, it's not very difficult to know that uh, some uh, parameters have been changed. So it can become a problem because you and him, you will be using the same file but you are using a file that has been modified by you and the other person is using a file which is not modified so but if still there is a need then yes it can be done uh, you can modify either a file or you can modify a link for example let me show you one way first for example, this is a link. Okay. I go to analysis of the link. So now I I know because of any reason that this threshold value is not right. For example, I talk to this, this is a peso link from NEC. So I talk to NEC guys, they say the version that we are supplying to you, the version has a better threshold then this is not minus 67 this is now minus 72 so one way is that i can change it in the link but this is a cumbersome way i mean you have you will have to change in each and every link uh, one thing that i want to mention here as well that even if you change it in the other way you will have to do it on all the links again but let me describe you but I mean, one way is that if you have only a few link where you want to change something and you want to check that what is the effect of this change, then that is another thing. I mean, you can change everything. I mean, path loss, uh, don't believe in the files, path loss believe in you. So if you give it any number here, path loss will accept this number. You can change the BR value, you can change the TX power, you can change this antenna, you can change, um, you can change the antenna gain, with, yes, sorry. So you can change the antenna gain, you can put any value, you can put 200 TB gain, for antenna, Pathos will have no issue. I mean, you have a antenna with 200 TB gain, I mean, it's, it's not path loss problem, it's, it's your problem basically. So, uh, so the thing to say, uh, when you do these kind of things, then uh, better that uh, not to save. Close it, it will ask you to save, specifically say no, so uh, nothing is changed. But these kind of changes are saved in the PL4 or PL5 files that you are using. If you're using uh, version 4 of path loss, 
then these changes are done in the PL4 file if you are using version 5 then these changes are uh, saved in PL5 file so in this way you will have to change uh, in each and every file so there is another way of doing it uh, there is one program it comes with path loss it's called ant red antenna and radio so this is path loss 5 uh, data file you can now for example i open a file uh, this is radio file 18 gigahertz okay so i take a random file i mean i take any file like this uh, rst file okay now this is an ericsson radio tn and uh, now for example i came to know that the ber of this tn is changed so i can change it here i can take it to minus 88 and now i will ask path loss to save this file and i will have to give another name it's better that i give it another name so that i know that i have changed this file you can give a name you can give a date so that if you make uh, different changes then you can uh, follow your changes so i gave today's date 16th may 2020 so now uh, this file is changed So I save it, the file is saved. But currently, right now, this has made no changes on my uh, path loss because uh, path loss has its own way of doing things. Number one, because you have used the same, you have changed the file name. Uh, one way was that you keep the file name as same and then you just uh, go and you just update uh, all the links which are using that file name then those things can be modified but uh, if you make this kind of change i mean if you change the equipment parameter then you will have to load that equipment again i mean for example if i want to use it here then i will have to go and then i will have to pick that file again uh the modified file okay i will have to add the file okay i will not go in the detail because this will become you will have to because this is uh, already indexed i will have because i have made a modified file so I have to add the file again in this index and I have to use it in uh, my link and then the modified values should become the part of uh, my network. So uh, now going back to the question and a brief answer at the last that yes, uh, you can modify antenna file, you can modify radio file. You can modify the T2I curve, you can modify the transmission emission curve, you can modify everything and you can modify it in the equipment file or you can modify the path loss link files. But uh, only one uh, suggestion that it's better not to modify by yourself. Try to get a modified version from the vendor and inform your customer as well that uh, this version is now modified by uh, Mr. Render. And if you are modifying it by yourself as well, then again, it's better that you inform your customer so that he knows that a modified file is being used in his network. So I hope this uh, answer was enough for you. If you want uh, any further information, over it then you can uh, again uh, make a comment see you in some other video okay bye